Yeah. Bruno Mars said I should have bought you flowers. It's ironic, cause I brought us back some dower. Now it's time. Prop my feet, make me something to eat, and once I'm done, let me. First interview ever. First word spoken on the platform. Mm, man. Yes, what sir. Up? Yeah, you know what time it is, man. Welcome back. Mm -hmm, yeah, for sure. Been long so glad to be back. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Yeah. We, shit, you already know how that shit go, man. What's been happening, man? So everything been good, man. You know? Word. Yeah, trying to keep things pushing. How about with you? Man, you know, going through the motions every other day, you know what I'm saying? Dodging child support and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Making music, but shout out to my BM though. You know what I'm saying? We all right, man. You know, we requesting that this case be closed. You know what I'm saying? I do what I'm supposed to. You know, I'm a great and active father. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, man. You don't want no problems with me. You don't. Tell me, ain't even smart for you. Yeah, so, you know, you out here doing the music. Oh yeah, uh, heavy, Fatherhood. Man. You know, it's a lot going on. Yeah. Man, yeah, man, it's a lot, man. But you know, I, I manage it. You know, I balance it out, you know, and music ain't even really like work for me you know what i'm saying i just love doing the shit you know i go ahead and make me a nice little clip you know what i'm saying some dope ass dj premiere type shit or you know if i get into a jodeci type of vibe you know for the ladies you know what i'm saying for my smooth maneuvers like the fellas you know what i'm saying you know i like to put that out there and everything so you know i keep them entertained man despite you know things not really coming out on time and you know going as planned and shit like that with this music shit bro it costs a million dollars to rap. I want everybody to know that I'm looking dead into this camera because I'm talking to you. If you're a woman, a man, anybody you like with this artistry shit, like it's just gonna cost you a million, bro. You know what I'm saying? So then that'll also determine if you still wanna do this or not. Yeah, definitely gotta invest in the craft. From, oh yeah. We've had these conversations, you know, all the time. Like recording. All the time. Uh, you, know, you gotta pay for visuals or mixing, whatever. And about that though, you know what I'm saying? Like paying for the visuals. I wanna, you know what I'm saying, make note to all the videographers out there. Um, it's understandable. You know, we all go through that phase in life that you can't really control, you know what I'm saying? Like when you you know you don't wanna be a nine to five and no more, and you know what I'm saying, you know what you can do. You know, shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? And all the trappers, you know what I'm saying, they they already know that they can, you know, get their videos for five hundred and all of that off top, but Seriously, though, if you really looking into building with folks, you know what I'm saying? Try to take that seriously, man, because the money that you asking for ain't going to change your life. You know what I'm saying? You're going to blow through that shit, bro. I don't give a fuck who you think you are, whatever, five, three hundred dollars for a video, bro. You know what I'm saying? Try to still try to build your portfolio up with somebody that you got a good chemistry with. You know what I'm saying? Stay active on them because that'll grow your catalog instead of you being stagnant, waiting on somebody to pay you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna work like that all the time, bro. So I want y'all to know that and take heed into that, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So work through going into the music. Mm -hmm. uh, so how have you been able to adjust to that uh, since we last sat down, you know, yeah. uh, where you're at in your music career now, just, you know, being um, able to stay afloat and maneuver? Yeah, man, you know, I'm actually, you know, every year is a, you know, a different height for me, honestly. Um, it also involves the work that I put in, you know, physically with it. Um, I have, I got some decent placements on the upcoming project after the one that we're about to drop, Cold P Volume 2. Y'all be on the lookout for that. Produced by yours truly. I got a cut on there by my boy Mello Matt out of Brooklyn. Um, I got my boy Nine on there, you know what I'm saying? The homie Gmail, y'all already know how the whole D-Flow production can't get down. You know, um, but he got a couple of solo cuts on there. Um, I produced predominantly like damn near the whole album. And, uh, you know, I got Polyester. I got a feature from Polyester coming. Uh, I got a cut from DJ Fresh on the album. And you know, that that upcoming project after Cold P Volume 2 is gonna be mac macking since I was two. Um, you know, I produced that too. And um, y'all can look forward to hearing that. You know, I'm working with some multi-platinum niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't really, can't really fold with that. But people know I'm into it for the sound mainly. But, um, you know, it's progressing, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a placement with G Perico coming. Don't want to speak on that too soon, but you know, it is what it is, man. I just want y'all to know I've been grinding for a long time. Everybody who knows me personally knows how I feel about the music. and. Um, you know, that's what it is, man. We just gonna keep on climbing from here. Ain't no giving up or stop. Mm, yeah. yeah, so 
What do you think the most important piece of the music? Man, the business side, man. That's the most important piece. Ain't no debates, you know what I'm saying? Like once you talented, that's cool. It, it, I mean, it, it's, it's worth a lot, you know what I'm saying? Being talented, but at the same time, you gotta understand, man, um, you gonna come to a point in your life where you see how much of a business this is. And um, this is nothing like the fame, you know what I'm saying? This is all that fame that distracts you, you know what I'm saying? This is what they put that shit out there for. Um, you know, when you're going into these businesses, man, you know what I'm saying? They wanna see shit and, you know, what you bring it to the table type shit outside of, you know, them trying to sign you. But what you also wanna know is, you know, the business side of this is gonna always come first. Um, what can I give y'all a prime example? Like, like I said before, man, this shit is, I, wanna, I would say 5% talent and 95% business, man. You gotta be on your P's and Q's with your publishing, your copyrights, things of that nature. Um, some things, you know, you can't really go through with, you know, if you don't really have the funds to, you know, get the sample cleared or whatever. But, you know, just stay on top of your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, just know what, you, what you're getting into, know, know the business sides of things, you know, if you wanna get into merch, you know, outside of promoting your music, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna wanna, you know, tap in, you know, with the bank, see what you gotta do. And just to let y'all know, man, um, if you're gonna start an LLC, it's gonna take you two years worth of tax returns to get your first business loan. So whoever don't know that, you know what I'm saying? And you, shine, you sort of venturing off and then starting your own business, get that LLC quickly because you don't, you don't even got two years guaranteed to you before you just sit down and ponder on that. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and handle that, man. Yeah, handle your business. Yeah, handle you that shit, bro. Be on your cold P's and Q's. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. got to. Yeah, also, you know, speaking of the industry, like you said, it's a 5% talent. So mm -hmm. how do you feel about the state of, um, cause you, you have more of a non-mainstream sound, organic, mm -hmm. uh, rather than tapping in. Yeah, yeah, underground, yeah. yeah. But uh, how do you feel about what's going on in the state of music right now? Um, you know, ain't nothing wrong with it, yo. You know, I fuck with some of these new niggas, bro. That shit didn't grow on me. Like, I fuck with Shoreline Mafia hard, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that nigga old Jeezy, that's the homie. I fuck with uh, the baby, you know what I'm saying? But mainly, like, as far as the mainstream rap go, you know, he one of the main niggas that I would listen to. And I can understand what he's saying, you know what I'm saying, bro, from right downstairs in North Carolina and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm fucking with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Uh, you know, be able to step outside your shell, you know what I'm saying? If you know what these, you know, majors is doing and how they distributing you, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you gotta have some sort of creative control in that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I try not to let what other people doing take toll on me as far as my thoughts and, you know, shit like that on the records that they dropping because this is them. You know what I'm saying? They try to find what fits them. And, you know, as far as the promo and all that other shit, man, you know what I'm saying? They got that under control. They know how to handle that um, for these artists and whatnot. They still take them down there about a year to get paid or from that big ass record that they dropped. So, you know, I'm just hip to the business side of the shit, man. You know, none of this really excites me the way that it used to. It's damn near why you see the masterpiece and the Shug Knights and Currency, you know what I'm saying? Larry Jones. My nigga Jay Worthy, you know what I'm saying? BG Perico, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas out there really branching off and getting their own shit started. Because once you see what this business is gonna put you through, niggas don't give a fuck about being signed in no major label and all of that shit, shouting out a Def Jam or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Not, that's not the diss, but it's just showing you like when you get signed to somebody else's corporation versus what you can do for yourself, this is why they get in there, find out what they need to do and evacuate. You know what I'm saying? So the key is to infiltrate, educate, and evacuate. You know what I'm saying? So get in, get out. You feel mm -hmm. me? And own your shit. Yeah, that was a great uh, way to put that. Like said, oh yeah, for sure, man. I'm gonna give, like I'm like give it to you how you supposed to, you know, have that shit, bro. Like, that's why I feel, you know what I'm saying? A person like me is really missing in this business, man. But same time, you know what I'm saying? You wanna be able to monitor shit, you know, like for, off the camera reasons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, this shit get real. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, uh, speaking of the music, <clears throat> let's get more into you. Oh yeah, For uh, sure. Yours, you know, so, mm -hmm. like what is your creative process um, in terms of, you know, just from ground up building mm -hmm. a project and you can get into like cold people? Uh, 
shit. Man, you know, I make beats, man. So, you know, if I'm I'm going with a, you know what I'm saying, I'm going with a specific sound, just knowing how this shit's supposed to go, man, you know, artists mainly drop every year, you know what I'm saying? To a degree, uh, you get like my underground artists, you got us, you got niggas like them, we dropping what? Like maybe three to four tapes per year, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit, you know, it, we, I just be chilling, bro. I, like, I really know how to do this shit. So, you know, producers can get, you know what I'm saying? They they try to, you know, make it like God-like of a job, you know what I'm saying, that we have. But them niggas know, we know what we doing. Y'all know what we doing, bro. It, it, sometimes it ain't gonna take 10 minutes or an hour to make a whole beat. You know what I'm saying? We just know what to do. So as far as the, you know, project side and, you know, just curating shit, you know, I told myself that I would stop, um, you know what I'm saying, like making certain announcements so soon because shit be happening, man. You know what I'm saying? These tapes ain't gonna always be able to come out on the um, same date, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, by a specific time, you know? And uh, with the time that went by, you know, with Cold P Volume 2, you know, I was just discussing this with you um, off the air. You know, um, shit, you know, it, I, we, we, we redid the whole album down there. You know, it's only like maybe one or two cuts, like I told you, that stayed on the album. So with all that time going by, you know, I, I be making doper shit. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, this can go on. I can take this one off, disperse this here. You know what I'm saying? Put that there. And to all the starving artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, just try to uh, monitor your time and shit. You know, like, do EPs. You know, do three to four track EPs and things of that nature just to build your catalog up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lengthy project, you know, things that go missing with this, the money that you got to put in. Um, the studio times, you know, some motherfuckers still be out here working and then you got some individuals out there is, you know, getting it, you know. So all that shit, you know, weighs into, the, you know, creating a full project. And then again, you know, I got co-producers, I got features from this person and that person. So it requires a little bit of waiting time. And some of the artists that I, you know, fuck with and that I mainly been tapping in with, I've been coming out of pocket. For, you know what I'm saying? It's well worth it, uh, you know, just to work with multi-platinum recording artists that you then admire coming up and then me knowing my worth of the music, you know what I'm saying, and what I need to be doing and this being my eighth year, you know what I'm saying, actually professionally doing this shit, it was like, okay, it's time to step it up. You know what I'm saying? It's time to, you know, do what one of my um, old friends told me. He was like, you gonna, you gonna cough that bread up for a verse or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And just knowing, you know, how it was, I wasn't the type to get a verse just to try to jump on. But if I did like this person and they had a fee, then, you know what I'm saying, I got to do what I got to do. And that's all good, you know what I'm saying? But um, that's how the project process has been going for me, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm getting placements now. Um, I just did a cut with P on the boards from ASAP Mob on my last project on Cold P Volume 1. Y'all can go and check that out on Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, all the streaming platforms I'm on there. Um, yeah, man. Like, that's how it's been going for me now. But just in a in a regular way, like how, how a project come up. Mm -hmm. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Call G, yo, we about to make up something new. You know what I'm saying? We about to make something new. And, you know, I got some beats going on. Him and my little bro Trev, you know what I'm saying? They'll come around and um, we'll, piece, we'll start piecing shit up together. Or, you know, I already have some shit in the making and then, you know, they'll come through and, you know, be my engineer and, and see what we need to get tweaked up and all of that type of shit. Word, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can grab that if you want to work. Yeah, uh, chop this up. Oh shit, hold on real quick. Hey, what's going on? Hey, look, I'm doing an interview right now, so I'm gonna call you when I get out of here. Is that all right? All right, cool. All right, bet. Yeah, uh -huh. come on. Good. You know, some of the new shit. Yes. Yeah. You know, old shit, new shit, like your sound. Uh, yeah. It's very, um, you know, 90s like, like you said, underground, uh -huh. organic. Yeah, uh, man. So that's how I came up. Yeah, yeah. So you can get mm -hmm. more into that. Like, how um, was your influence from that sound and um, mm -hmm. your affection for like the '90s? Man, you know, just coming up out Ingleside and Park Terrace. You know, what I'm saying this is uptown, and then you going over there to the other side on Ingleside all the time. Um, you know, I had grandparents over there in Ingleside, and you know, my mom, my dad. You know, they was kind of off and on and shit. You know, had a spot out the way. Um, you know, just seeing what they was doing, you know what I'm saying? Drug dealing, sex and shit like that. You know, all the traumas that been passed down to us that we so-called glorify to a degree. Um, 
you know, just seeing that shit and hearing certain music that was played around the house from the blues and, you know, to jazz, to real rap, you know what I'm saying? Even gospel on Sundays when you're around your grandpeoples, you know, you ain't really got no choice. Uh, staying in church, just, you know, living in a, a typical, you know, black household, you know what I'm saying? Uh, somewhat middle class and dysfunctional, where well, middle class and dysfunctional meet. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's mainly where that shit came from. And, you know, just having a pops who was a hustler and whatnot, having me around all this shit, you know what I'm saying? Taking me to different spots that he had, you know what I'm saying? Seeing bitches get fucked, um, hearing certain rap songs that related to that shit. And, you know, me just knowing what that shit was about and seeing it at a young age, you know what I'm saying? From like three to, what, shit, I wanna say five, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was that vivid. You know what I'm saying? Like I got like on my new uh my new EP, uh Ingleside 95, that's a single that I just dropped. And you can kind of get a glimpse of, you know, what was going on and what I was seeing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit was for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. you know, how have you been able to uh like you said, kind of certain traumas that are glorified mm -hmm. um deal <clears throat> with and um acknowledge those things, you know, and just how it's affected you and moving uh beyond that. Well, you know, I didn't really turn out like most kids, man, to the point where, you know, it's certain shit that I'm still thinking about 20 years down the line. Uh, thankfully, I didn't. You know, it wasn't, it just wasn't that horrendous to me. Um, I'm a strong individual, for one. You know what I'm saying? I'm just real strong minded, you know, like certain individuals who know me know, you know, that I'm always smiling, I'm always in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? And I may go through things, but the point is, once you know what you can do, you know what I'm saying? Just move. You know, ain't, ain't no sense of just sitting around sapping all fucking day. You know what I'm saying? And some people can't control that. You know, some people get jealous of how you control that shit. So as far as I'm concerned, man, it's like, you know, just stay strong about the shit, man. Like that shit ain't really put no effects on me or put no hindrances on me to the point where I couldn't elevate to the next level or you know, go anywhere or be around certain shit that would bring, that would trigger my past that I ain't want to see. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. You know, I've, I've adapted to the world a long fucking time ago. I accept what goes on here. Uh, you know, with females, men, family members, you know, I accept everything. You know what I'm saying? To the point where certain shit that may come across to, you know, my attention as fucked up, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I, I accept humanity rather. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what people do. So if you get yourself into a situation and you already knowing the possible outcome of that, you know, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I take shit on the chin. It's like if something my fault, I try to fix it. If I can't, let it be and move on, man. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit ain't I ain't really got no past traumas that really affected me. You know, I've always been chill you know, was able to, you know, do what I wanted to do as a kid, for real, you know, I'm, I was I was chill, you know what I'm saying? I was one of those kids that the grownups would let come in and chill with them, even when it's smoking and drinking going on, you know what I'm saying? So they'll send all the other kids to the back and let me come out, sit down and relax and vibe and shit. It was just that, it was, it was that felt, you know what I'm saying? Like the vibe was felt, man, you know what I'm saying? I always been a cool, sleep, you know, slick young nigga and shit. It was all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, turning that into the music, um, mm -hmm. it seems you would have like some content to rap about. So how you take your real life experiences and mm -hmm. put it into your music um, to let people feel you through uh, through sound? Uh, you know, I just give them me. You know, I even go by my real name. I don't want no stage name. You know, everybody who know me out here, you know what I'm saying, they know me. So it's like, hey, you know, Deron, um, you know, pop his tape in, they know what I'm about musically. Uh, I just talk about what I do on my everyday or, you know, certain past, you know, experiences that I feel should be heard in a rhyme, you know? Mm. That's how I put that shit down. Man. All right. Yeah. yeah, so also uh, with, you know, Virginia um, mm -hmm. and the scene out here is growing. Right. Yeah, right. How, yeah how you feel about that? And just, you know, um, just where it's going and going to be in the next, like, five years or so. Uh, I really can't, I mean, well, I don't know, man. I've been seeing some shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you got Meek Mill out here with niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that was just, cool. Yeah, that right. was cool. Um, that was more of on a politic level, but, you know, a lot of niggas sleep on Virginia. You know, Virginia been booming. And, you yeah. know, you can't blame them. 
um, you know, a lot of these 90 babies aren't really knowing about Pharrell uh, linking up with Teddy Riley back in the early 90s, you know what I'm saying? Doing it all I want to do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? Like, Pharrell had his hands in that writing-wise and production-wise as far as I was concerned. Um, shit, you know, it, I mean, it's climbing, man. You got Ray Ray out here, crazy, you know, it, like these niggas is like really, you know, they've been doing it, they've been grinding. Um, as far as the music scene out here though, you know, I feel like, I feel like I'm bringing, you know, something truly different. You know, everybody, everybody out here will come across my shit, you know, it's like a West Coast sound and all of that. And I don't get bothered by it no more because it's like, I know, you know, my side of the map and what they're used to and what they would relate it to. And I know they don't mean nothing by it, but they fuck with my shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no complaints. Like anything that I send to anybody, they always send the same response back and dope. I swear to God, bro. And, and like ever since, ever since I started really doing this shit and got to the point where I was sending beats out, you know what I'm saying, or played it around somebody, like they always said dope, you know what I'm saying, or any type of, you know, songs that I've done. Like I, I don't get nothing less. Like I know what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying. Like I know how to make this type of sound. I know how to make that type of sound. If we go in the house, we gonna go house. We gonna go jazz. We gonna go with jazz. We gonna do real rap and hip hop. R&B, we just gonna go in these lanes like I know music, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, if anything, man, I don't wanna disappoint. And, uh, you know, we coming up, you know, it's a good thing. Uh, certain individuals need to fall out of, you know, wanting favors from big time producers like Timberland and Pharrell, this is a business, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And it's just certain things that they don't know, you know what I'm saying? To the point where they too fucking comfortable saying Pharrell and Timbo and them don't do shit for these people. You don't even know what they going through. You know what I'm saying? All they blinded again, bro. They blinded by the fame. You don't know what they're going through. There. I'm telling you, bro. I done got with real niggas. You know what I'm saying? In hopes of some, you know, other shit. But at the same time, what I'm trying to let these niggas know is, you know, they people. You know, you wouldn't even think that one of your favorite rappers may need a favor. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really that deep in this business, bro. Like that that fame really put you know shine on these niggas. Like they so god like. Behind closed doors, bro, I'm telling you, they may be going through something very, very similar. You know what I'm saying? Very similar. So, you know, I don't let that shit get to me, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you really can't. You know, you just got to stay in your lane, like you said. Yep. I mean, shit. I mean, people trying, though. You know what I'm saying? They're going with what they know. I'm, I'm real forgiving to a lot. So it's like I have to stay away now, knowing how much, you know, how much I be forgiven to. It's like certain parents out here, you know, they didn't do a good job and it wasn't intentional, you know, they just going with what they was taught. Niggas was fucking, you got niggas out here nutting in these beautiful women because of that very reason right there, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature and creating these children and they not getting the, prop, the, the proper upbringing that they need, you know, like putting, uh, putting your kids on your American Express or, you know, your credit card just to shoot a credit line up, you know what I'm saying? And have this shit already ready for them. Uh, certain knowledge on the music business and things of that nature. It's so much, bro, that goes missing in a household. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even just us, like black people, you know? You got this shit with white people, uh, like Hispanics, you know what I'm saying? They, that they may just not know a certain a small piece of information that could enhance, you know, certain shit that they going through. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is, oh man. You know, it, it just, I try not to speak on one perspective, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to throw us off topic, but. You know, all that shit rims to that. You know what I'm saying? This is the root cause of these, you know what I'm saying? These problems that we not addressing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, I, I think there is no topic, man. I mean, we just, you know, it's really talking about the music side, business, mm -hmm. life, just all of this yeah. is, uh, you know, under this big umbrella right. um, called life. So, yeah. but uh, yeah, in terms of a lot of like what you brought up in terms of like the credit and just knowledge and yeah. things that, you know, certain communities uh didn't get as much of mm -hmm. and then you talk about like just how far ahead you know mm -hmm. certain people are where it's like so we got to start paying attention and doing you know our best everybody you know just trying to do their best but mm -hmm. you know definitely um you know it's it's, it's a way yeah for sure man shit. yeah for sure yeah so but um so yeah i do want to ask you all uh, cold p man I yeah can't wait till it comes out you know we didn't and talked about it, then heard it. Oh yeah, uh, for sure, man. Yeah, so, you know, what um, what, what type of rollout, like how you giving it to the people? Like it's in our summer, 
Uh, yeah, it, it didn't turn into that, man. I was planning to drop this shit, you know, a couple of months ago. You know, mm -hmm. I still wanted to be in that, you know, that cold kind of season. But um, the shit, like I said, you know, things don't always go as planned. And, um, you know, better music was made. Uh, we got doper songs. So, you know, that's how that shit rolling, man. You know, me, I just drop. And when I drop, you know, it ain't gonna be, you know, no regrets on the weight. You know, it's, you know, it's fire, man. Uh, all the tracks, you know, I try to, well, I, I ain't gonna say I try, but I make sure that you ain't gonna have to skip a track. Even if they do skip a track, you know what I'm saying? Because they, if they, you know what I'm saying, listen to the whole tape in its entirety, you know, they wanna go to one specific song, cool. But, you know, I make all the beats sound good, you know what I'm saying? To the point where they ain't gonna, you know, really have to skip no tracks, man. So, you know, shit, we got, you got this song called Neighborhood Blues on there, man. It's gonna be crazy. Um, I got my boy Ronnie Wills on there. You know, he back and shit. I just want to give a shout out to the engineer. You know what I'm saying? The homie G Stacks. Um, he worked with Lex Luger and him and Currency and Lex Luger. They did a whole tape together. I forgot what it was called, but he engineered that shit. And, you know, I've been recording with him lately. Everything is coming out great. You know, that's another thing, you know, who you going to, you know, as far as the studios and everything and who good with that mixing. And when I found out that he was working with Les Luger, it was like, yo, okay, you know, I'm gonna fuck with him because Will's put me on to him. You know, I went to the studio with him one night and he was like, yo, fuck with him. You know, he worked with Les Luger and shit. So I'm like, okay, cool. And you know, Lex from out here, you know, them niggas still be out here. So, you know, certain Virginia cats that's top tier, if you will, you know what I'm saying? They're not really seen as much, you know, which is smart. You know, this is a small area, things of that nature. But, you know, if you just stay in your lane, man, stay out the mix, ain't, ain't no problem out here. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Why like you say you just gotta, you know, pretty much stay. Fuck that shit. You delete it. Yeah, fuck that fuck. <laughs> he man. good. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, in terms of like just moving, I mean, just kind of mm -hmm. stay in the cut, do your thing, go where you need to be, uh, yeah. don't be too active um like you say that's where those you know kind of problems and just uh people get a little too comfortable with you right you know, yeah that's that's where yeah man you yeah. know with, with that bro it's like you try to treat people like people you know how people should be treated but everybody can't get that uh everybody can't get that that type of attention from mm -hmm. you man uh they they see one like once you show a motherfucker that you give them life in any type of way you know, it get ranged from small to big, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers always try to go the extra mile instead of properly communicating, like, okay, you cool with this too? But they just got a glimpse of how you are and like, okay, I know you're gonna be cool with this and then just assume. And like, nah, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't really like that. So again, in retrospect, you know, like I was telling you, you know, I'm forgiving to a lot, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that this man's or this female's parents ain't really give this to them. So here I am taking what I have, you know what I'm saying, and shedding it on to them and understanding why you got your mother and your father say they didn't have that. So, you know what I'm saying, you can't really give this and that to them. They gonna, they ain't got what you got and all this shit. So when it makes sense, they, they couldn't go in detail with you because they feel like you're too young to understand. But really when you, you know what I'm saying, once you already see them doing that type of shit, that's when you go into detail. That's when you go into detail. And sometimes you got parents out here who really sacrifice their happiness just to, you know, watch this kid not make the same mistakes and they make the same fucking mistake. Mm. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's like, yo, like, what are you like? What are you doing wrong? And then that's what creates all this resentment inside the home, you know, between a man and a woman and more so a man, because, you know, this bitch gonna fuck anyway. And then you got this man out here who really working twice as hard, you know, in today's time to keep a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Keep a woman around, you know, I ain't, I ain't really too fine on that. And then again, you know, they got, you know, like high value, you know, men on their radar and all that type of shit. So, you know, shout out to my man, Kevin Samuels, my nigga TK Kirkland, you know, who, who touch up on these type of, you know what I'm saying? Sub subjects and, you know, situations, you know, as far as the men and women and, you know, how you, you know, breaking in, you know, keeping a home together. All that type of shit, man. That's some real important shit too, man. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. you know, kind of we talking about the credit and just life shit, you know, yeah. something that needs to be uh, talking about. A life about. coach. I'm a life, yeah, I'm a life <laughs> coach too, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put that shit in the bio. I, I, I damn AKA. sure am a life coach. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I know I'm a life coach, man. Cause you know, certain people who talk to me, 
you know, and women too, you know, like I love how you talk and things of that nature. And it ain't even just to fuck them, it's just to actually teach them because, you know, niggas want girlfriends. You know, if a nigga made you his girlfriend, trust me, man, I'm telling you, it ain't not one bitch, other bitch that he wants to fuck that important enough to fuck his shit up with, with what you got going on. So when it comes down to it, man, is you gonna put your name on something for a nigga? You know what I'm saying? Is you gonna build with this man for real instead of just saying that you wanna do that shit? Because sometimes these bitches ain't even in position to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like to be building something up, you know what I'm saying? So everybody just take a step back, you know what I'm saying? Listen to this interview right here, educate yourself, and then, you know, learn how to move forward with that, man. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people ain't gonna agree, and this is an unpopular opinion. Women break homes, they fuck up uh, father and son relationships, even with daughters even, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they're the cause of a lot of problems. And men are too, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they're weak uh, sexually, you know, so they try to dive into anything. And I'm not perfect, you know what I'm saying? But I've always, you know, I always knew how I dealt with women too, so yeah. You can ask around and like, I ain't got no smut on my rep with that type of shit. You know, I'm a, I'm a real big person on no means, no. You know, like if I asked a girl for her phone number and she point me to her Instagram, I'm like, nah, you ain't got nothing that I want to see. I asked for your phone number and that's cool, you know, no means no. But don't try to send me here. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it ain't that deep. It ain't that deep. No. Yeah. Yeah, you need to start a podcast, man. <laughs> man, we, we got to get back, bro. Yeah, we got to get back saying. with the show. Ain't, hey, look, y'all. Whoever, yeah, whoever, I'm whoever, tripping, whoever, bro. Whoever, whoever still want to tune in to the show, me and Drew, we going to get that shit back up and running. I promise y'all. You know, people been asking me about that motherfucking show. Bro. And I lost the damn password and information on Instagram. Man. And they want, yeah, because it was an old email address, bro. Them niggas ain't even letting me get it back. So I'm going to have to start a whole new Instagram for the show. Y'all stay tuned in, man. Um... Hey, you know it's crazy. You brought that up. Name too for the uh, Instagram, yo, so, so. Yeah, bro. You know, you know what's so crazy that you brought that up, man. I actually been wanting to bring that show back out, but again, you know, timing and things of that nature, and which the way shit is going right now, you know, what I'm saying the way things are going right now, I really think that I do have that time to put back into it, man. Because I was like, yo, for the shit that I do, I, I don't really do anything. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know what I need to do? I need to start occupying my time with everything that I want to do. You know, so I don't have any empty spaces in there. Like if I got to go back to work, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. If I ain't working and just doing my thing out here, you know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I could definitely be aiming my time to my craft. You know what I'm saying? So we definitely going to get the show back up and running, yo. And you hearing it from the horse's mouth. Got my man Drew right here. We going to get back at y'all, man, real soon, bro. I promise. Real soon. That's crazy. That was um, exactly uh, three years ago. Yeah, man, was, we was, was up and running, man. June 2018. Yeah, we, we was up and running, yo. We was that doing... was before Tower of the West. Hey, look, man, I'm telling you right now, the way we was up and running, man, it ain't no it ain't no secret that the show gonna be back up and running real, real soon, man. So get your deposits ready, things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? This is Tower of the Waves, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, yeah. Girl, yeah. Yeah, man, I miss that show, man. I really do miss that show, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you think you, um... You know, do like major level hosting. Something major like level that. hosting? What do you mean, like far as like a yeah, like you, a big time guest? Yeah, if you were like uh, like a big ticker or some shit. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, man. You know, if people, you know, don't let this industry try to box you in. You know what I'm saying? Definitely attack everything. You know, shout out to Freddie Gibbs, man, because he just started uh, uh what's the cocaine comedy? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, he did a little piece at a comedy store where he had his own comedians and he hosted. So, you know, that's something that I would definitely work on. You know, I'm not perfect at everything, but, um, you know, that's something that you don't want to get in front of the crowd and, you know, choke up on. You know, I did drama in high school, but I ain't going to sit up here and say, you know, I did drama in high school on some shit. Like I was really, you know, in class and, you know, really taking it serious, which I was, but, you, did, did you know, shit. it was an elective. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how motherfuckers did me shoes class I, I think we had, we had that the time. same class or something. No, I don't think we did, but I think we had... Uh, you did blocks. Yeah, um... That's that's the class I remember having you in, bro. I don't even think what he was in one of them. He he taught uh, marine bio. That was uh, a cool yeah. ass motherfucker. Yeah, hell yeah, talk hey, kind of tall, yeah. Hey, shout out to Mr. He used to sit yeah, me so down he- before class even started. I'm talking about we had third block with him, but he like if I get there first thing in the morning and I had me a failing ass grade, he'll let me come in there, change all the answers, and then give me a B and shit like that or something like that to pass me when report cards and shit like that came out. Me and him, we used to talk. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my dog right there, man. Hey, What's yo. up, Mr. Man? How you doing, man? Salute. I God. hope he uh, still ain't teaching you his ass fired. Ah, man. Yeah, <laughs> hey, look, man. We're going to bleep that out. We ain't going to put all we ain't gonna put all that out. But no, nah, man, that was a yeah, classroom sure, right yo. there, man. Me and Trinity and shit and Tiqua. Big uh, ass titties, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm going to tell her about this interview, man. I'm going to tell her about this shit. That yeah, was our man. class, man. We used to get shout, down. Shout out to Rilla. Oh, yeah, man. Home shout of the Braves. The uh, and the skippers, class <laughs> ditches. You know what I'm saying? You already Boy, know it. Who's big for that, ditches. man? I'm talking. I'm talking about going to Wendy's and Taco Bell and shit doing lunch. Motherfuckers coming right, back right through the field. Yeah, the principal's coming back. Like, what you what you doing with that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what, what was the uh, security uh, guard name? Me. Cat. He used to take them take they um motherfucking lunch. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And made them give him a taco or burger or something. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing my nigga classes, there. man, because. Uh, Shit, they drove up on the field and shit. We had to run through the neighborhood. And drove on the field. School. Who drove yeah, on the you, field? You know, we used to walk through the field, the baseball field. Mm-hmm. Uh, get the winnings. Oh, you did? Oh, oh, yeah, that shit, man. Yeah, and they yeah. started drove. We booked it. Ran through the... And y'all ass had 30 minutes before that damn bell rung. Yeah. <laughs> 30 minutes before that shit rung. Good times, man. Yeah, man, for real. <laughs> yeah. So you got some pretty strong viewpoints on one. What's your take on one of your preferences and all that? Uh, I love them, man. You know, can't live with them, can't live without them. But, you know, to all my real niggas out there, you already know how it is, man. You got to watch these bitches, man, um, on more than one aspect. And this is uh, going back to, you know, the unknowledgeable woman. You know what I'm saying? Because they do things that they're not aware of that can cause... Um, that could cause real strife, you know, in a relationship and a, a relationship between the, the father and, you know what I'm saying, and his daughter or son or whatever. You know, you have to understand how men think first. You have to understand that we as black men, you, we got haters plotting, we got slick ass bitches plotting because they want to get further in life. You know what I'm saying? They want to tie, they want to cling on to some type of success. You know, they want to go on trips and all this type of shit, want to be fucked a certain way. You know, when dare take a nigga out though, bro. I don't understand that. It's like, you know that you want a certain type of individual to fuck you on a trip. Go ahead and pay for the trip. Send us out. We out here dodging penitentiary chances and, you know, niggas trying to kill us, hating and shit. You know what I'm saying? We go through a lot of shit during the day, like waking up every day. How are we going to survive? How are we going to be successful? We're the dominant breed out here. You know what I'm saying? Like how we going to, you know, provide all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? We still human at the end of the day. So any woman that approached me, I want you to take heed in everything that I just said and, uh, you know, just come correct, man. You know, but I love women, though, you know, all kinds, man, types, you know, sizes and shapes, colors, you know what I'm saying? All that type of shit. So it's all shapes, good, man. Colors. Shout out to my Gemini women, too, man. I love y'all. I love I love them, bro. Geminis and Virgos, bro, I love them, yo. So um, you, you into, like, the horoscopes in terms of women and... Uh, no, and, you know, just people, period, man. Yeah. Like, they actually, Personality you know, they, yeah, they detail, yeah, they detail some real shit about yourself that you should tap in with, and it can resonate with you, you know. So, when you have all these people be like, oh, I don't believe in that shit, and then you got these other group of people who do believe in it because they see the truth, you know, those are the people you want to interact with. Now, don't get me wrong, every situation ain't completely accurate, but they can detail some shit that happened in the past with you or that's going to happen in your future. You know what I'm saying? So you might not want to, you know, give them the cold shoulder like that. I, I suggest certain individuals try to read into that. Man. Yeah, For definitely real. a fuck with a woman. It, yeah, it helps you know what and who you're dealing with, too, because I had to tell, you know, my son's mom back when we was dating, like, yo, I see the shit that you was doing that used to annoy the fuck out of me, but I understand you as a person. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, would I be able to compromise dealing with that to fuck with you? And if it's not too, you know what I'm saying, not too overt, you know, okay, but at the same time, I just really feel like no one owes anybody anything. We was all born into this world the same way, you know, unless you really meet a different type of person who wasn't born, you know, into the world, you know, in a trauma-ish way, you know what I'm saying, like a, a lousy nigga just nutting off in some pussy versus a plan, you know, kid coming and shit like that, you feel me? So, you know, just try to, you know, think about all these things before y'all, you know, in a lot with one another, you know, have real talk. Women, y'all should be a little bit more clear on what y'all want. Men as well, don't be afraid of rejection because, you know, at the end of the day, everybody gets to walk away okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, try to, you know, find out some business deals that can get y'all some money. 
you know what I'm saying? Shout out my brother, Doc. You know, he's definitely been helping me out a whole lot, you know what I'm saying, with my real estate investments and, you know, searches and things of that nature. So, you know, I'm like, things is progressing, man. You know, I have, I have more than one thing to bring to the table, but, you know, are you willing, as a woman, like, are you willing to, you know, join me and join forces? Because if you ain't just fucking them, they don't want to help you no more. You know what I'm saying? Now you all types of bastards and all this type of shit. But it's like, if we don't come together as a people and really start doing business together, this is why we gonna clash. You know what I'm saying? You have to look at the strength that another person holds. Your credit may not, it don't have to be bad, but it may not be where it needs to be to get this business deal done. Now you can come to this woman or this man, or being that we talk, we're talking about women at this point, you can come to this woman and say, okay, if you got these type of credentials, we can get these type of credentials eventually if you're down for it, but you gotta put your name on something. You gotta take a risk. You know what I'm saying? Now, even though we don't know each other that well, let's get something in writing now. You know what I'm saying? That can define that trust because people got to get smarter, man. It's like all these businesses, all these businesses out here that get sued, that's what they're there for. You know what I'm saying? Illegal practices, you're going to get sued. You know what I'm saying? So all my business owners out there, all my future business owners, like really be careful in who you hire. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't have a liability on your floor that can just you know, fuck everything up for you, fuck your business up, you know, then you got to fire them and get what from them, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So be careful with that. And to all my business owners and future business owners out there, you know what I'm saying? Really pay attention to who you bring to your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just be nice to motherfuckers, try to give them a job and feeling sorry. This is your business because something that they may not know inadvertently can get you fucked up for life. You know what I'm saying? Like, so just you know, stay business minded when it comes to business, man. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So did you have this uh, viewpoint on women before uh, your relationship with your BM or you think that influenced? You know, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give a hard, I'm gonna give a hard story. You remember, mm. yeah, her cousin, right? She had a cousin named, I'm gonna tell, I want the whole world to know because you know, I ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all know what happened. So we in the movies, right? She set the date up. One of the homies was dating her at the time. You know what I'm saying? So we double dated. We go to the movies, this bitch go on my wallet and took all my money on a sneak, bro. I'm talking about kissing me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking on the man and shit. You know, she ain't really from the area. She from the other side. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay. You know, she was fine too. I'm talking about all my money was gone, bro. All my money was gone. Why, why are you sitting and you didn't leave your wallet? Yeah, I probably had like $40 up in that bitch. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? This is like junior high, you know, at the time. So when that shit happened, bro, I was like, this bitch. And you know, I already had that attitude, but you know, this is what few, like fuels the fire, if you will. You know, I was like, man, like how the fuck all my shit gone? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't take my shit out. So I was like, yo, she was good, bro. She was good. That, and, and I salute her too, man, because it's like doing shit like that. I could do some bit. Hey, if you watching this interview, man, hit me up, bro. I need her, man. I need her one time. I need her, yo. <laughs> you lost track. That's why, yeah, lost real track, man. I was hot as a bitch with that bitch, man. Stealing from you, what the fuck wrong with you? That's mm -hmm. wild. So, yeah, man, it's the real, man. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, how you, uh, like, I guess, <clears throat> move forward from all this, you know, and just deal with, how do you, I guess, deal with women now? The way I look at them now, you know, I look at them all the same. Um, like I said before, you know, a lot of them, was born into this world the same way that I was. So, you know, I'm really not expecting much from them, but solid partnerships, you know, get into business with women, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they're about business. They want to make their money. They like spending money on things that money should be spent on, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Like keeping the plants and, you know, shit like that water around the house and things of that nature. Like try to, try to like do what Dame Dash do, man. Find you a solid woman to do business with because when you get into business with men, you gotta understand motherfuckers wanna boss up. You got niggas who ain't never really felt that, you know, that um, that clout before, you know, like feeling like the man they ain't never really had that confidence before. Then when they get a piece of it, they don't know what to do with the shit. So, you know, try to stick with a woman. Not to say that they won't do it too, but, you know, just be on the safer side when it comes to your business, man. Cause last thing you want is a greedy ass nigga on your, you know, at your table. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that to fuck everything up. Mm. You don't want that. Yeah, liabilities. Yeah, man, for real. All time high, man. Yeah, so, seem like you're pretty versed in business, so like, what are some of the inspirations in, you know, like, just studying and applying it to how you move, or Snoop, man. Snoop. 
Yeah, that's a, that's one motherfucker who can really play like roll dice real good. You know what I'm saying? And we Libras too, so I already clicked with him on a whole nother level. But you know, just seeing what he was able to do and stay afloat for decades, bro. It's the third one. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The 92 to 2022. This is 30 wow. years, bro. 30 years. I'm talking about always been on top. Always been on top. Still getting in the new shit too. Y'all niggas want to get at me, man. Follow me at Produced by Deron. Produce is abbreviated, so P-R-O-D-B-Y-D-A-R-O-N. Produced by Deron. You can find me up there. Twitter is Produced by Ron. But, you know, I got to get on the computer and tweet that shit up. But follow me on Instagram, man. You know, um, we uh, we going to get the show back popping. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay in tune. Um, shout out to everybody doing their thing. I love how, you know, the black, like our youth, like they really getting their knowledge up on, you know, all this crypto and all of the stocks and shit, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody just doing their thing, man. Trey's by Nay. I love her food, man. Y'all gotta go and check her out. The best $20 you'll spend, I promise you. Dope. Yeah. yeah. And fire it up, man. Oh yeah, my Who Got The Funk hats is coming too, man. You know what I'm saying? The sample was approved, so I want everybody to know if y'all love weed July 1st, everybody can get a hat, man. Everybody can come and get a hat, That's man. It's gonna be 30 a hat, bro. Who got the funk hats? Embroidered, you know what I'm saying? Real shit, snapbacks. I'll... That's wild. Yeah, man. Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, bro, they coming, bro. Who got the funk? That's perfect. Yeah, man. Perfect date. Yeah, to drop them shits on. Oh, appreciate you pulling up, man. Oh, yeah, off top, yeah, man. We, yeah, we coming back, man. This this felt good, yo. Me and Drew, we gonna come back. We gonna get the show popping, man. We gonna have more guests. But for real, man, we got to get some dope MCs in, in this bitch, bro. We got to get some, like, some real shit, man. Because, like, my, my audience, the people that I done had come in, you know, I, I even had other artists and shit like that chime in to try to get interviews with me, bro. Mm -hmm. But if I ain't really feeling your shit, man, they, they like, bro, you know, yeah, I, yeah, like, with yeah. this music shit, I know what I like to hear. Okay, and then I'm, me I'm asking getting. you about yours, you know, I'm going to be faking with you because I don't fuck with that type of shit to a degree. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be doing the modern-day music, Make sure that shit dope, man, before you come on the show. Because I don't want to be on the show at being rude. I ain't even going to be rude to you, but I ain't really got no interest, no questions to ask you. You know what I'm saying? Then again, I'm already knowing how you was birthed into this world, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old soul, man. So I ain't really got time to be, you know, bullshit with a whole bunch of young cats, man. Even the ones my age, bro. Yeah, I want my cousin to come back up here, man. My cousin Lou Lewis, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can follow that nigga at Po Boy 23. You know, he had his show up here too, man. We're gonna get uh, all this yeah. shit back up and running, man. Yeah, Po Boy yeah. TV. Yeah. But yeah, man. Y'all go watch all those old episodes. Uh the first interview, the first mm -hmm. video uploaded on the platform. Yo, it's the show Po Boy, po Boy TV. Check it all out. Tuning in. Deron, appreciate you pulling up again. Already. And we out. Already. Peace. Done. Let me see your feet. Qualified by the treat. Let's have some fun. Now I'm bending corners, cause I'm through with that hoe. My Chevy didn't raise up the stems.